Now let's work on the two sashes that are sort of draping down the sides. So these pieces here. So we'll go to the sash texture set, which only has these on it. And you'll see the way that we laid these out is completely straight horizontally. So if you remember when we did the UVs, we had the option to unfold this and make the UVs very undistorted, but it made more sense to lay this out straight so that we can start to add things along this, knowing that this piece of cloth is really just a rectangle draped over this other piece. And so let's go ahead and start by bringing in a fill layer and let's choose the base color. I'm going to make mine red. Let's go down to the metalness and I'm going to dial this up to give it more of a satin look. And then we can play with the roughness a little bit. So I think something like that looks pretty good. Now I want to add some wrinkling along here, some kind of folds. And so to do that, I'm going to come down in procedurals to the stripes. And let's go ahead and I'm going to add the stripes to the bump. So let's go ahead and drag this over to height. All right. So it's obviously going the wrong direction right now. So let's come down under pattern and we do have a shift. So let's go ahead and dial that shift all the way back. So now they're going completely from left to right. Let's increase the number of stripes that we have. We can change the width of those. Okay. We can also change the softness, but right now they're really, really hard edged, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and add a filter. Come in here and add filter. Let's choose a blur. So we'll add a blur to this layer here. Let's take up the blur intensity till we get something like that. All right. Let's go ahead and we can play with the, again, with the number of stripes. So we can choose how many we want, change the width a little bit. Now let's say that they are, the bump is a little bit too much. We can also add another filter. And this one, we're going to choose a height adjustment. Okay. And this will allow us to actually adjust how deep that bump is. Okay. So we're adjusting how blurry it is to make it nice and smooth. And then we're adjusting how deep it is because it's driving the height, but doesn't know how much to do that. And so we're going to be able to adjust that here. So we'll do something like that to give us some nice folds coming down. And then we can go back into the color and we can continue to adjust based on the folds that we now have. We can continue to adjust how metallic it is. You can see the difference when we make it more metallic, it gives it that more satin look. We could change the roughness values to get the exact look that we want. Now we can also start to add a little bit of occlusion kind of a look in here. We could do that with simply a, a new paint layer. Let's go ahead and choose black and I'm going to go ahead and reset my brush. Let's choose kind of a basic soft brush. I'm going to choose black and that's the only thing I'm going to paint is color. I'll turn everything else off. Let's turn on symmetry. I'm just going to paint across here, kind of paint across the back there. Let's go ahead and add a blur. So we'll add a blur, increase that blur amount. So we get something like that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and take this opacity down a little bit so that we get much lower opacity there. All right. So it gives us a little bit more kind of darkness there. And we can come back in and, and still paint through this. Keep in mind, you're not going to see it reflected because it's taking into account the blur. So, you know, if you start to paint further down, you'll see it. So I think something like that looks pretty good. You can experiment again with the stripes. Everything is completely changeable at this point. You can go in and adjust the height. You can adjust the number of stripes. You can adjust the softness of the stripes. Everything is set up to where you can change it. So you're not just painting in pixels. It's a very flexible workflow. Again, like you've seen with all of these other uh, lessons that we've gone through. Go ahead and turn on the gold pieces. Next, let's uh, go ahead and take kind of the basic skin that we created down here. Go ahead and apply that to the head and then begin to finish out some of the different areas of the head with uh, some different kinds of materials. So we've got kind of the, the horns and teeth and things like that. 
So let's go ahead and add the kind of basic skin texture that we have onto the head. And then we'll modify that and continue to add to that to get the texture that we want for the head. All right, so let's go ahead and do that next.